Hi and welcome to the Felt Hug with Linkage of End Crafts. Thanks for joining me today. If you have found yourself here within the Felt Hub, then this is probably what you're interested in making. This is a time-lapse tutorial, but you can felt alongside me in real time to the full video tutorial. So if you just pop into the Felt Hub and look for the playlist for the hair, you will find me there. And also make sure you subscribe so that you get automatic updates because I put quite a lot of stuff on my YouTube tutorials. So the gorgeous parsley hair is like a, a beautiful sort of folk art, whimsical style hair. But what we're really focusing on is getting this really perfect shape, beautifully shaped legs, really nice and firm, no wire in these whatsoever. And there is a technique for doing that because people get hung up on having to put wire in things and you really don't. So what we're going to do is rely on our humble wooden barbecue skewer, which is the felting tool everyone should have in their craft box. So the whole thing, apart from the ears, is made around this barbecue skewer and that is what allows us to get this beautiful symmetry and beautiful shape. So that is what we are going to be working on. Now I've used carded wool for this because I feel that that's best suited for this particular project. Although you can use a coarse wool top as well, whatever you've got. And then the only other colour I've used is a white for accent, but you can feel free to, to choose whatever you want. A felting mat, I've got a hessian mat here, but it's because it's three dimensional, you can use a foam mat, a wool mat, any anything you like really, and always use a topper got my trusty barbecue skewer and then I'm using a 38 star felting needle because this is really robust it's a good all-rounder and you don't want to be using a fine needle because you will catch the wooden skewer and using a fine needle you will find it will break or bend really really easily this is pretty much all you need for this project if you want to use a multi-tool when you create the ears fine but for the rest of it one needle works just as well now if you haven't got the wool then the needle felting kit for the parsley hair is in the uh, available on the website and I'll pop the link in the comments it's a gorgeous kit as I think quite biasedly that all my kits are but um, each kit is is made specifically for the animal or the project that I am creating. So every every kit is different. The instructions, everything, uh, all the instructions are different. Comes in a really nice, beautiful box. And then when you open it up, what you will find is all the wool and more that you will need. A mat to felt on, your felting needles, little glass beads for eyes that have a, a hole in them so you can sew them on, and a, a mini sewing kit as well as the the ruffle for the neck now you can also get this as a wool bundle so if you've got, already got the needles and the mats then you, you don't need to be buying those a second time but most importantly are the instructions and this is these are also available as an instant download so if you just want to crack on then you can also download those in the pattern section of my shop so the the joy of these instruction booklets are in the detail there are almost a hundred full colour photographs within this booklet accompanied by a really good sort of size template so everything will be in proportion if you just follow that as a guide lots of information lots of hints and tips and sort of all, all the things i've learned over the last um well since 2014 so that are the that's the instruction books books so brilliant really really good you can use those you can use the video tutorials and um i think time to get on with it really i'll see you in there so we're starting off with these long lengths of brown carded wool it's really nice and coarse don't start with a piece that's too thick. So if you've got quite a thick piece, then split it down the middle and start with a, a thinner piece. This is what we're going to use to wrap around the barbecue stick to get the body going. So you take your barbecue stick and we're probably going to use about two thirds of this stick to wrap around. But just start, find a, a place to start near the top. 
keep your fingers close to the barbecue stick because you're using carded wool it will pull away quite easily so you need to keep it firm as you turn And the trick really to this is to overlap as you work down the barbecue stick. Turn in your hand, keep the wool in your other hand, and then just felt a little bit with your needle as you go along. Just down the sides, really, you know, make sure you're just going down the side of that stick so you're not damaging the needle. And then continue to twist and turn. I find the best way is to hold the stick and then hold the wool in my other hand and turn the stick, but find out which way works best for you. But keep it nice and tight all the way down and keep your fingers closed so it doesn't break off. And then work your way back up and just felt into place until it holds nice and firmly. And then go back down again. So what you're doing is you're really building up this body shape and you're going to start focusing on expanding and building the base because it's going to be a cone shape so what we want to do is get a nice wide base and then it narrows nice and neatly towards the top but we can do the reshaping as we as it gets bigger keep working keep felting and now you're not worried about damaging the needle because it's got thicker and flatten that base so felt straight into the base to get it nice and flat. Keep checking the shape, keep felting and then just work on building it up. Especially focus on that bottom area because you really want to see quite a defined shape and then you can use your size guide if you've got the kit. But if not then just do it by eye and, and whatever you're happy with. You, it's kind of like a Christmas tree shape and this carded wool really felt well together it's it's nice and coarse and then there's a few lines in it now but we'll get rid of those once we've built this shape up and taken it off the um and taking it off the skewer now start to firm everything up you're still going quite deep into that um into the actual shape itself because you want to make sure that everything in the center is firm as well you don't want it squishy and falling apart and it's not, the shape's not quite right yet, but what we'll do is we'll work diagonally with our needle. I'm just going to add a little bit more here because it needs building up. And also you've got to make sure that you've got enough for the head to sit on. So you want the neck to be nice and strong and sturdy, but don't over felt the neck. Keep it kind of loose because you want to be able to felt the head onto it. And if you've, if you've really felted that neck firmly then you're going to find that a little bit more difficult. But notice how I am now using my needle diagonally because that is now working the top area and you know we will build up those legs later on. But let's just work on this shape, get it nice and smooth, nice and even. And perfect um, scaffolding really to, to add everything to. Just check, make sure it's still slightly loose at the top. And then I've felted that more. I've given it a really nice smooth finish. Quite happy with that now. So I'm going to start working on the head. And we do the head exactly the same way, but obviously much, much smaller. I've split the wool in two again down the length because I don't want it too thick. Use your thumb and your finger to keep that wool in place because you don't want the head getting too long. You really focus in on one area. It's probably about an inch and a half, two inches long. And then just really start to build that up. Felt it in, work those ends. You're going for a nice curved rounded shape and they want to be really firm. And this is such a great way of creating um, a head shape. It really makes the job a lot easier and you can use this for so many different projects. Whatever animal you're making, whether it's foxes, hares, sheep, this is a really great technique for creating the base for a, a head shape. And use your template if you've got it. If not, make sure it's in proportion to the body that you've just created. And you can take it off and then work on the shape a little more as well. But make sure you firm it as much as you possibly can whilst it's actually on the, on the stick. You, you're going in diagonally now. 
and decide which is going to be the back of the head because the back of the head's going to be flatter. So you're going to have a more sort of pointy rounded end where the nose is going to be. And that will probably just happen naturally, as you can see here. But it doesn't want to be flat like a pancake. You know, you need to go in diagonally and then just soften those edges at the back. So you've got those nice curves and keep working it until you're really, really happy with that shape. I've flattened it a little bit much there. So I'm just adding some more wool and that's the trick. You can always add more, but never start with too much. I just felt it needed building up a little bit more. And as you can see, that's taking a much better shape now. You can really see the, you know, how that's going to sit on the body and it's much more curved at the back. So again, most things can be rectified when you needle felting, but the trick is not to start with too much. And then just really finish that shaping, keep working it. And you're going diagonally now. Now you're just working that top layer, you're smoothing it. Hands are great tools as well. Use your hands to roll it to get a nice smooth finish. And then check the ends, make sure there's no soft areas. And here I'm just filling in that little hole where the barbecue skewer was. You don't need to, but um, just sort of teasing the wool over that hole where it was just so it's not visible and then do the same for the nose as well because everything's exposed on this project so you want perfection on the surface and that's what it is all about it's an easy it's a simple enough project but the trick is getting those surfaces nice and and um, shaped make sure that they are smooth and even and symmetrical and that is why using the barbecue skewer is so brilliant you'll see especially when we do the legs what a difference they make and you don't need any wires at all so I'm just continuing to work this shape a little more and check you know it should be firm but it should spring back it shouldn't be over felted I'm not too concerned about that because we're not adding much detail. It's very simple in its detail, this, which is what makes it so lovely. It gives it that sort of whimsical folk um, sort of feel, especially with that ruffle. And then again, if you've got your template or your body there, just check. And then the top of that neck is still quite loose, which is what we want because it enables us to, um, to felt the head and the body together because we've still got some nice loose wool there. You see how we've got this nice curve at the back here. And that, that is it for the head and the body. So make sure you join me in part two and learn how easy it is to make these legs nice and firm without the need for any wires. See you soon.